am I gonna am I gonna explain this? There are three kinds of uh, separations of events in Einstein's theory, okay? So these ones are separated by a second in time. Um, and they're called time-like events, right? So time-like events mean that they could cause each other to happen. So I could throw a ball at you and I could knock you off the wall. Um, the ball caused you to fall off the wall. So those events are what we call time-like separated. They could cause each other, right? And there's no way in Einstein's theory, fortunately, to swap the order of those around. No matter what you do, no matter how you look at it, you can't swap the order. So you couldn't fall off the wall and then I throw, throw the ball. That would be a ridiculous universe. But there are another kind of events called space-like events. So the sun is eight light minutes away. I mean, it takes light eight minutes to get from the sun to the earth. So if the sun exploded now, then it would take me eight minutes to notice. So let's say the sun explodes and, from my point of view, four minutes elapse. I still don't know it's exploded. So nothing the sun could do could, could cause something to happen on the earth. Right? It, it, it's completely disconnected from it for eight minutes. You don't notice. Those events can be swapped. The order can be swapped remarkably. So someone moving really fast, fast past the solar system could see you know, me talking about this uh, after the sun has exploded, and someone could see me talking about this before the sun had exploded. It wouldn't make any difference because they can't have any link to each other. They can't, you know, the sun can't explode and stop me talking because it's eight minutes away. So for one person who's watching things happen, that clap happens before that clap, and with some important caveats, <laughs> then you can reverse the order of those things. But actually, the important caveats are important. Hence the name, important caveats. <laughs>